Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, thanks for tuning in. I'm Hugo. I'm a seven figure dropshipper and a six figure per month SMMA owner. And I make videos on dropshipping and SMMA and how to get clients, how to be a great business owner. So if you guys are interested in that, subscribe and give me a like down below. I really appreciate it. So before we continue with this video, please drop me a follow on Instagram because I'm more active on there. If you guys wanna send me a DM there, ask me a personal question. My DMs are always open to my viewers. And also a special shout out to these few people who've been commenting on my videos and giving me recommendations. Really appreciate you all. So if you guys want a shout out on my next video, please feel free to comment down below and give me some video recommendation ideas or just drop me a really funny comment. In this video, we'll be talking about how to sign $10,000 per month SMMA clients for your agency. And this is not including performance fee. So this is gonna be added on top of that. I'll be talking you guys through on how to sign $10,000 or more per month clients for your SMMA. So we'll be going through mindset, belief breaking, and also outreach methods, and also how to position yourself in order to be more attractive to these sort of clients, and also how to position yourself as an authoritative figure, which clients will actually trust. And if they don't work with you, they're gonna feel like they're missing out. So stay tuned, and I'll be going through these in this video. So first of all, what's most important for attracting a $10,000 per month client is that these clients are whale clients. As mentioned in my previous video, $8,000 or more retainer plus, and that's pretty much like the highest you can go in terms of charging for e-commerce. There's some people charging 15, 20K, but those are kind of like, you know, rare cases and very little brands actually, you know, are comfortable with giving 20K per month for an agency in retainer purely. Uh, but like 20K per month, it's really easily generated, you know, if you have a performance deal on top of that too. But first of all, it's belief breaking and mindset. So in order to attract a client which is willing to pay you $10,000, you have to be the client that you want to attract so would you hire yourself as an agency owner so typically people who are spending you know ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars a month on an agency service they're willing to spend that amount per month right but if you're not willing to even spend like let's say fifty dollars hundred dollars on a course to learn and upgrade your skills monthly then that just kind of shows through as like as a person you're not willing to invest in yourself and that kind of like reflects in your daily business. I personally invested thousands of dollars into courses, self-improvement, and how to level up as a person. And I really value self-growth, okay? So I, I value that more than making money at the moment. I just wanna grow every single day. And that actually really shows through to my clients. That, those values seep through during these sales calls. And I can actually show you guys a sales call right now where I actually turned down a client because I did not like the way that she operated her team, her business. She was only doing around 30 to 50K a month. I wanted to work with people and clients who I'm actually excited about. So it's not purely based on revenue. I do work with clients lower than that, but they have an amazing work culture. They're just great vibes to work with. And for now, I'm only willing to work with clients who bring good vibes, make me happy, form great connections, and just have a great time working with, or you're not, they're not pushy. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit uh, disappointed because I was really hopeful that when you come on board, our sales will grow and we will grow. <laughs> yes, I, I completely understand, but I, I just want to stress that we're just we're not like an agency that's just going to magically have you generate results for you it's just like mm -hmm. i don't want i don't want any client to just be like i want to hire you and you can do everything for us and generate results right off the bat and flip us around like i work with clients who like are also want to put in the effort on their end and mm -hmm. have a lot of content created and like they also work hard like, as, as partners you know mm -hmm. i feel like yeah, that's I mean a healthy relationship yeah, that's, that's very fair and really appreciate your approach uh, to business. So like the reason why I turned her down is because I saw that the, she really liked to micromanage her, her employees. And I could see that happening if, if I were to onboard her as a client, right? That's a, a very big red flag for me in terms of signing clients. I do not like to work with people who give me headaches. Self-inflicted, okay? I give myself a lot of stress. It's not on the client's fault, okay? So, but if a client is giving me stress, if they're pushing me like, oh, what's this? What are you doing today? Oh, how, why is this not done? Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm a very hardworking guy, but if they'll really like to micromanage, I'm just not that type of person uh, who's gonna do that because the reason why I started an agency is because I wanted to work on my own terms and not have someone boss me around, right? To a nine, so there's no difference to a nine to five if you're gonna have someone boss you around, right? So stop letting people control what you do and start having your own values when you work with clients. And that's gonna really seep through on your sales calls. I also forgot to mention that I wanted to include a screenshot right now on the screen. Right now, that assigned a $10,000 per month USD in retainer client. So that's around $78,000 Hong Kong, as you guys can see on the Stripe uh, Stripe payout. So I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys. This 
particular client who paid me $10,000 per month in retainer plus performance, it took me 29 back and forths to get them on board. So let me go through the details of what happened in the email. So like the first two emails were like, oh, I'm really interested in your services. Uh, you know, like what time can we do a call? I'm like, okay, let's do next week. And he didn't reply for a week. Next week, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. My schedule was very busy. Uh, let's hop on a call this week. So we hopped on a call. During the sales call, he asked for a proposal. I had to send over a proposal. Next thing over, he asked me questions about the proposal. I had to send back some answers after that. And we hopped on a second call with the co-founder. And after, you know, hopping on that sales call with the co-founder, they asked me more questions about, you know, how we actually achieve results and explain how our agency actually generates results for our other clients. So this is considered a whale client. So like, I understand, you know, their side of things. They wanted more trust. They wanted more clarity. They wanted to see what I'm about. They wanted to see like, oh, am I a good person to work with? Yeah, guys. So like, that's just the mindset part first. Be the client you want to attract up your values and just work on self-improvement first and then work on the outreach after that. Clients want to work with business owners or agency owners who know how to lead, take responsibility, have great values, have a great personality, they just vibe with. So that's how you really attract clients which are gonna pay you more than $5,000 per month. If they're only paying you 500 to you know $1,000 per month, I'm pretty sure that they're not even taking your personality in, in, into account, you know your values into account, how you operate your business into account. They're just hiring you for the service and that you can't really charge them a lot, right? So this brings me to my next point. How do you really up the prices of your service besides having you know higher values as a person, being a leader, have, taking responsibility, having great values for your team, you know, treat, treating your, your team really well. They can really see that on sales calls. So how do you really up the value and up the prices of your service and charge them $10,000 plus per month, right? It's very simple. You just need to provide more value to them. If you provide no value to the market, you're gonna make $0. If you provide a little value to the market, you're gonna make some money. But if you provide a lot of value, you can charge them, you know, five to 10K or more per month, right? So just level up your skills, right? Learn more about email marketing if you're, do if you're doing an email marketing service. Be great at Facebook ads, just be incredible at Facebook ads and put yourself out there, right? Market yourself, you know, you know, create content, put yourself out there, get some eyeballs on you, be great at what you do, and you're gonna get sales calls. I guarantee you guys 100%, you're gonna get sales calls. If you guys are consistent in making content, you know, let's say you make an Instagram page purely for, you know, reaching out to clients or reaching out to business owners, and telling them about your service. So let's say you make an IG reel saying how to run Facebook ads in 2022, uh, you know, getting a ROAS above 2.5. Start posting content like these, specific content every day, right? Get yourself out there and you know position yourself as a Facebook ads expert, right? Really get yourself out there, up the value that you have and provide more value to the client. So what are some ways which you can provide more value to the client other than just being great at what you do? So SMMA is a service, right? You provide a service, but that service also comes with other things. You know, let's say, uh, you know, consulting, quality of, you know, conversations that you have with business owners. That's very important in terms of, you know, creating a connection, right? If you create a great connection with the client as you work with them, they're willing to stay with you more and they're actually willing to pay you more the next time you sign, it, sign them on again, right? So let's say you sign them on for six months, three months down the line, you're providing great results. You know, you're doing like weekly check-ins. They're really happy with you. You know, you're actually starting to become friends with the clients. They're not going to really want to leave you right because they see that you bring value they see that you're a great person to work with and they also see that if you guys terminate the contract and stop working together they're going to see that as a loss and they want to continue paying you because they want to have you on their team and they want to have you as a partner so always guys position yourself as a person who who can lead takes responsibility has great values and also is just a great person to work with have you guys ever like just been around friends who just bring bad vibes to the table no one wants to be around and that really reflects to their business life. No one would want to work with them. So up your vibes and improve the underlying issues first and then start really good doing outreach. So this leads me to my next point. How do we do outreach? So this is the website that I use to do email outreach. This is called myip.ms. So I've used this for several months now and I'm sending like around 500 emails per week with kind of like personalized emails because I feel that personalized emails really work in 2022. The emails are flooded with other agencies who want to work with them. Uh, you know, most of them are not even personalizing their emails. They're just like, you know, oh, are you doing email marketing? Let's hop on a call. Actually look into their brand, look at their LinkedIn, you know, kind of stalk them a bit, but don't be too creepy. Look at their LinkedIn, look at their Twitter, see if they have a Facebook page or see if they have a Facebook profile. Take a look at what they're doing. And let's say on LinkedIn, it says that they're hiring. Use that as an icebreak. Oh, I see that you guys are hiring now. Are you guys interested in maybe building a great and amazing work culture? Let me know if you guys are interested, you know? Relate their current situation and you're very likely to get a response. And don't try to book a call with them on the first email. A lot of guys try to, you know, plug their Calendly links 
on that first email and it just never works you don't they don't get a reply because that's just too much commitment on that first email business owners see their email lists as a to-do list not something that causes them more stress or like something that causes them more friction you want it to be seamless it's kind of like a shopify page and you want it, the checkout process to be seamless right so you want that email to be easily readable you know have a great subject line uh, have a great icebreaker personalized content that they kind of relate to and, and feel like oh damn this guy did his research on me and it's very relevant to my situation right now so he kind of understands me i'd love to hop on this call with this guy and see what he's up to you know have his take on what we're doing so rather than plugging your Catalina link in your first email plug just say oh are you interested in a quick chat All right just aim for reply first and then after you get that conversation going yes it does cause more friction and most likely business owners don't reply after three or four emails but it just gives you a better impression right so uh, you know plug a reply first and maybe later down, later on plug a call right that way the entire conversation is a lot smoother and that just makes the sales call much more enjoyable so make sure that you guys also implement this in your cold email outreach all right guys so now let's hop on to myip.ms which is the website that i usually get my emails from and f actually find e-commerce websites from so let's dive right in okay so this is the website guys just type myip.ms and then go to this search filter here and then it's kind of buggy sometimes so you gotta actually search it twice so i'll show you what i mean by this also i like to view the websites in terms of traffic it's, it's a, just a rough amount okay because it's not really tracked really well so let's click on search and then it'll kind of have to uh, you know ask you to confirm this and then you're gonna have to do it again so you know this is just from many times of doing this let's say you want to find an e-commerce business which is doing really well in terms of traffic let's say let me be like two thousand per day to four thousand per day and you can also separate it by the hosting website so you could either aim for wordpress websites or shopify websites or not here i'm looking per, i'm looking specifically for shopify websites and i think most of you guys are as well so let's click on search here and there'll be a lot of websites which kind of pop up uh, right off the bat and you guys can actually just hop on the website and download you know some extensions which enables you to find the business owner's email address and just use that and reach out to those emails right so you can actually hire a va on fiverr which is what i did and uh, you know you can pay them like four or five bucks an hour just to help you find these emails gather a list and you know per week you could send four to five hundred emails use lemlist so that's what i use right now it's kind of expensive i'm not sure what your budget is guys but that's a that's a software that i use so you guys can scroll in and actually just click on, you know, just copy and paste. Uh, you take a look at what they're doing. So this is a website, I think it's based in India. Pretty cool website. I'm not sure how to convert in rupees though, uh, but you can take a look at, you know, their socials, see what they're working with. Uh, you know, they've got 71 followers, so may not be, uh, you know, the ideal, uh, ideal client. Ideally, you want to see e-commerce businesses with like a very regular posting schedule. So let's take a look at this when this was posted. This was posted five hours ago, not bad, but uh, you know, not the best engagement, but that does not determine the success of a business, just solely the Instagram account. Uh, so do take a look at other factors, uh, but you know, I'm not sure how much traffic they're doing per day, you know, roughly maybe four, two to $4,000 per month, but you know, try to find their emails using like snob.io, that's what I use. Use that to find the emails and then reach out to them using cold email. So that's the process of how to find business emails and actually how I find my calls and how actually I get booked calls. So this is the first step and you know, this first of many steps in order to sign a client, but you guys got to start somewhere. So start finding emails and finding business owners emails online and then send them cold emails and make sure that you try to pitch a reply rather than pitching a booked call straight off the bat. Make sure there's as little friction as possible in terms of getting a reply from them and make sure that you don't come across as creepy or spammy. Also check that your email deliverability is on point. It's not you know ending in promotions or spam folders. And you know that's one sure way to guarantee success in terms of cold outreach methods. But there are also other many different ways of doing outreaches. If you find a particular method that's working really well for you, you're getting you know some replies, uh, some calls, double down on it. There's no need to spread yourself thin and go, let's say on Facebook and find people there. You don't have to really go on LinkedIn. You know, it's great to have, you know, good social profiles on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. Those really help out. 
And I see a lot of successful guys on there. You know, some people only do focus on LinkedIn. Some people only focus on Facebook. Some guys, you know, are killing out on Instagram, on Twitter. But you know, this cold email was what really seemed to work for me and what I'm doubling down on. So that's what I'm really focusing on at the moment. Make sure you put all your time and attention into what's working, double down on it. And you're gonna see success, right? Be consistent with it. I guarantee you guys, I guarantee if you put 100% of your time and effort into one cold outreach method, which is kind of working so far, one month down the line, it's gonna be working more, right? All you need to improve is your sales skills and the way you present yourself, the way you provide value to your clients, how you, you know, iterating your offers on your emails, making it more appealing, right? There are a lot of different ways to improve that, but this is a great way to start. So to give you guys a quick recap on how to sign $10,000 per month retainer clients. So first of all, you need to position yourself as an authoritative figure, be a leader and make sure that you are someone who clients really want to work with and actually trust. They want you to lead them rather than they kind of leading you. And this actually really shows through in the sales call. You should always lead the direction of how the call is gonna go. You should always lead the direction of the project and give them consulting along the way. And they actually really, over time, they believe in you, they trust you and they actually want you to you know, keep talking with them, actually keep working with them, right? So, so the first thing is to position yourself as an authoritative figure. Secondly, is to provide more value to your services. Find ways in which you can increase the value of your service so that clients see the, the value in it and, you then, and therefore you can charge higher prices, right? So include maybe consulting in your, in your offer, maybe include you know, daily or weekly calls, a lot of different ways which you can improve your offer and also thirdly is to you know double down on what's really working for you right now in terms of outreach in terms of getting a booked call right double down on that put a hundred percent of your effort and your time into you know that outreach method and i guarantee you guys will see success so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video please drop me a like a comment and a subscribe for my channel and also follow me on instagram i'm more active on there and feel free to send me a dm on there guys i'm really open to anyone who asks me questions and i don't bite guys so yeah see you guys in the next video and i appreciate you all